Hi Physics, this is Mrs. Ellsworth and this video is just to clarify and to clear up any kind of muddy ideas of what you thought that you had to hand in. So I, I'm saying this just so you can see from the stream um, what basically everything is. This, this was hard for me too to figure out how do I break this up so that I can see what my students are doing and so that I can kind of give you some timelines. And, and I've got other ways of figuring out how to do it. Of course, this is my first try and 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 yeah. Anyway, let's look at this. So um, the first thing that you po posted for this one and the beat goes on, lab at home assignment. This one is the assignment. Um, it's right above what we were going to do for the week. Okay. This one is the assignment where you um, have a pendulum at home. You can create it from uh, a couple different places in the one video. I mean, in the, in the, yeah, in the video, I said that like you could put it inside like a, between table leaves. You could hang it from the ceiling. You could hang it from a rafter. You just have to make sure it's hang, hung from a very steady spot. Okay. And so then what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to collect data on um, the period versus the length of the um, pendulum. And so when you have that pendulum going back and forth, you have to have it go back and forth 10 times so that you can figure out what the period is. Divide that by 10 and you can figure out what your period is because that longer length of time makes it more accurate. Okay, you need to do one one set of data with length, period versus length and period versus something else like weight or else the angle that, that you put it at. Okay, so what do I want from you? I want a video of you showing me you actually doing it. Okay, and then I want um, a video of, excuse me, then I want pictures of your graphs and your tables. That's all I need. And that is explained in the video on this one right here on how to do that. Okay, the next one. Analysis of pendulum graph. This is just a couple of questions in there. And you just need to go and analyze your graph. Tell me what did those graphs look like? I have got pictures on there so it could help you analyze them a little bit better. So you could tell me if it was linear or if it was proportional or or if it was um, square root or something squared. You could tell me what it looks like. Okay, so I can see that you can analyze what that those graphs look like. So do this after you submit your graphs. Okay, then the next one, the next one is um, post a question, have, you, have your family rank you on your beat with a song? Okay, can you keep the beat with a song? This is not graded. It's just neat seeing that some people are graded eights, nines, and tens, and I just had one submitted that's rated a four. And so I'm quite interested to see if that person is going to have a project that will actually show the beat. So hopefully he'll get some, some family help and support that helps him keep the beat. Okay, then do you know what a metronome is? That's all that this one here is. It's just a short little video saying this is what a metronome is. Okay, then the last part. Okay, select a song that you want and make your pendulum um, go to the same beat. You can use math to figure it out. I know that a lot of you guys are going to be do doing some um, guessing and checking and just winging it. Uh, just make sure that you show in that video 10 swings with the music, I need to see you in there too. And um, and that's it. So this right here was a two page thing. I think I put it all on here. And or, and um, and I had checks from the ones that were done pr prior to this. And so it had open boxes left on here to help you do your analysis. There are two questions on here. And so um, I'm wondering how I should get those. Oh, those two questions were posted in this one too, if I remember right. Yeah, two questions are on there. So so you can answer those post questions there too, okay? So that is what this whole project was. It was just on a, a double sheet of paper for a classroom. I was going to do this for the first time this year and I didn't know exactly how to set guidelines and checklists for everything here. I did think about attaching a sheet of paper saying that what I wanted with the different links on there. I, I didn't know exactly how to do that. So I'm, I'm, I'm working on this and um, it was just our first project to start it out and to kind of lean into using Google Classroom. So I hope this helped clarify any worries that you had about this project. Of course, I'll probably be grading most of it Friday night. I am going to grade some of it as I get it today. In fact, I'm going to um, work on physics grades probably Wednesday afternoon and um, well, actually, a lot of us do on Wednesday, so I guess I'll be doing it Thursday afternoon. So I will see you when I see you. Keep asking questions. But this right here is really about all I can do to keep explaining what I wanted for each step. So replay it if you need to. 
Toodaloo!